Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to our Monster Sanctuary Let's Play. Uh, last time we finished off with the Blue Caves, and we uh, defeated that Minotaur, or Minitar, as it's referred to in uh, in Monster Sanctuary. We defeated Minitar, so we're going to go explore the new areas. Whatever new area is uh, available to us, I'm not entirely... I'm a Keeper novice now, so I, I don't entirely remember what the area was called, but we're going to we're gonna see where we... It's not here. Uh, you need to be a... Oh. Go to the dual uh, trainer in the Keeper's Tower, which is located just up and to the east of our... Thank you. Only then will you be... Oh, okay, okay, so I'm not done. Okay. Okay, so I, I guess I can come here later, but for right now, I gotta go up, so let's go up. It's nice that they put that little prompt in there for you if you didn't uh, finish your training. And I, I appreciate little stuff like that. Oh, here, oh, look at this guy. Hey, Jim Leader Ed. You've come at the right moment. I think I found a clue about the masked stranger in the blue cave. I don't care. <laughs> My familiar had a vague memory of, the, of his mask, just as you're familiar, I imagine, so it didn't take me long to find something in the archives. But first off, you know all about the old world, right? Hell no. Nah. The old world is what is outside of the monster sanctuary. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, we're getting some lore stuff. Our current year is 490 AC, means after creation. 490 years ago, there was a war between the first monster keepers and the kings of the old world. The monster sanctuary was created during that war. Magical barriers separating it from the rest of the world anyway. What? Ever since that war 490 years ago, the humans of the old world have been pursuing ways to explore all of the uncharted regions of the earth and to learn the secrets of its nature. They call it science. However, there were still a great number of alchemists in many countries of the old world during that time. Alchemy is an ever-changing craft, its results are unpredictable and oftentimes dangerous, similar to magic. By 200 AC, alchemy was outlawed in all of the empires of the old world and even persecuted in some areas. But the oldest order of alchemists remained, and they fled into the monster sanctuary in secret. That's all I found in these archives. Uh, in the book here, there's nothing written about what happened after the alchemists came to the sanctuary. That's really odd, don't you think? There's supposed to be more books somewhere in the Stronghold Dungeon, which is East the Keeper Stronghold. We've got to do the Keeper Battle Training before we can go there, though. The Keeper Battle Trainer is in the Keeper's Tower, just above this room. I'll go ahead. You know what? Um, I... I don't have a pen. I should start writing down when we get lore stuff because uh, I'm definitely going to make a lore video. That's interesting. What the heck? So it, it, it'll be after I beat the game, obviously, but that's pretty cool. I like that. I find that kind of stuff interesting. Like, like especially, so, so this whole area is like completely sanctioned off. I guess the, the name uh, Sanctuary makes sense. <laughs> Keep restarted access more. Okay. You need to defeat two more champions to send. Oh, is that how it works? Okay. I'm in the wrong spot anyway. I'm not supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be. They said. They said north into the east. Is it over here? I'm assuming it's here. See, I I've talked to these guys before, but no, this is a champion challenge champion challenge you can fight okay so this isn't it either where's the tr well where do we go hold on let's see if there's a uh that's a mon journal uh is there no uh i guess there's no um like quest log or anything oh well okay that's fine Check what these guys are saying. Damn it. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I was in the right spot. You suck, bro. Well done. You've beaten enough champion monsters to qualify for. Yeah, well, yeah. What well, one? <laughs> this training will will complete your initiation as a keeper novice. It's a step every fledging monster keeper takes at some point. 
technically will hasn't beaten enough champion monsters yet for his training however we decided to make an exception in this case for two reasons for one we need at least two aspiring keepers for this training <laughs> so you'd have to wait for will or another new keeper to beat enough uh, champion monsters but even more importantly we feared that if it took too long for will to achieve that his parents say he's always got his head in the clouds and he's just not the type for adventuring and monster fighting however He's a very smart and talented young man. We hope this training will give him a confidence boost. Oh, so, so, so basically what you're saying is, is he's getting special treatment. I'm not telling you to hold back. Feel free to use this opportunity. Okay. This guy's getting special treatment, bro. For a thousand years or more, humans have settled their disputes by letting their beasts fight amongst each other. However, only one of the monster sanctuary was created. The first monster keepers established a fixed set of rules for this kind of duel. Firstly, neither keeper nor monster is to be seriously injured during a keeper duel. That should be given the bu that should be a given to both of you anyway. Okay. In a keeper duel, each keeper uses their full team of 6 monsters, but as always, a keeper may not use more than 3 monsters at once. If a monster gets knocked out, its keeper may switch in one oh, Okay, cool. So this is full battles. Okay. The turn order in a keeper duel is determined by chance. Okay. The keeper who has the first turn may only use two of their three chosen monsters during the first du Oh, okay. The keeper who has the second turn can use all their monsters. Th okay, so, so, so that's like a competitive balancing thing, I'm sure. Items are not allowed. Okay. Once either keeper has managed to knock out all of their opponents, they've won the fight. That concludes the theoretical part of this training. Next, you two will face off against each other so that I may see whether or not you truly understand the rules. Let's do it. Are you ready for a keeper duel? Or would you like to hear the- No, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready, bro. Um, I think I'm ready too. Shut up, Will. Of the Spectral Eagle bloodline, I challenge you to the Keeper duel. Cool, okay. Uh, we'll go one. It's actually kind of cool that they have it this kind of in wait his guys are higher levels than mine He might actually beat me What the heck? Uh, it's cool that they actually um, Like take the time to, to basically show you how competitive matches will work. I Guess I get to go first Yeah, I'll just hit with Roxas Mm. Might be better to get the poison off, actually. There you go. Ignite. Yo, yo. Who, who do you think... Who do you think you are, bro? He poisoned everybody! Okay. Um... Oh, they all got shields? Okay, well, let's knock his shield out. Still, he's, he's, st he's still got the shield. Okay. Um, poison you. Oh, I should have healed. Oh, my God. I'm going to lose to this guy. I'm making fun of him, and uh, looks like we're going to lose to him. He's weak to fire. Get out of here. Ah! Don't kill my slime. Oh. Damn, what the heck? I, maybe I shouldn't have avoided all those battles like Roxas said. Um, okay, so the ones he has out, he's got one that's weak to water, one's that, one that's weak to grass, and one that's weak to, uh, so I could send out, um, I'll send out Ducky. Let's go. Airsicle, I guess? Man, my attacks, like, do nothing. Or does that shield just tank it? Tank all hits or something. Oh, we'll air sickle this guy. Just get rid of his shield. I'm not 100% sure how that works, but. 
Okay, ice hail on you. Safe cast. Dang, okay. This bird's kind of useless, man. I'm just gonna attack. Like, <laughs> it does the same amount of damage. Okay, um. Applies channel buff to whole party. What does the buff do, though? Buff info. Channel buff. No. No, I don't want to know what their buffs are. I want to know what this buff does. No, screw it. Let's try it. I don't know what this does, boys. Okay, um. I could go with explosion again. We'll go with explosion again. I just want to get rid of the frog. I feel like the frog's going to be the biggest threat. That's okay. Bird was kind of useless. I'll go with Kaiser. Okay. Okay, so the bird's weak to this. Hit the bird with it. Hit the bird with this too. I might try to kill the bird this turn if I can. E, no, I can't. Okay, next turn we'll get rid of him. I'm hitting the toad though. I need to do something about that caterpillar. He's just shielding up like crazy. <laughs> okay, uh... Fireball. Okay, we're getting rid of the toad. And the, uh, hopefully the uh, bird as well. Maybe. No, it doesn't look like it. It's better on any like multi-hitting attacks. Oh, it looks like the toad's not gonna die this turn. Okay, if that's the case. If that's the case, I'm getting rid of the bird. Oh shit. Okay, well, Ducky's down. I'm, I'm going to lose this fight legit. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go fireball. Okay, any of these attacks is going to kill him, but do I have any... Are any of these attacks... Because I kind of want to save Roxas' attack for, like, maybe the caterpillar or something. Because that caterpillar is a little too, uh, too buffed up. What does this do? Heal target. Oh, oh, I have a healing move. Okay, we're gonna heal Roxas. Okay, and then, then we can we can finish off uh what we'll use the least amount of stamina lightning bolt. Okay, get out of here. What? It said it would kill Oh. I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say. Oh, Kaiser's like dead. Okay, I'm gonna restore Kaiser this turn. Um, okay, let's see here. I'm 
restore. Bang. Hashtag gym leader Ed sucks at this game. Earthquake? Interesting. Oh, the boy's down. Okay. Well, I have like no HP, so I'm just gonna quickly and subtly heal. Um, Roxas is also like pretty much like screwed here. And they just keep they, they just keep getting that, that shield buff. I don't know how to deal with that. I wonder if the game's gonna let me proceed if I lose or if it's gonna make me uh, like fight him again. Yeah, we're dead. GG guys. I'm just gonna give up. <laughs> Is there a way to give up? No? Okay. What's the okay? What? Hold on, hold on. I want to see what the buff this guy, this guy's applying is, because that, that is one OP buff. Okay. No. Okay. I just, I just want to see the info. Oh, whatever. Okay, whatever. Just die. I wanted to see what the buff he was using was. Because a pretty powerful buff, if you ask me. Yep, bye bye. Gym Leader has no more monsters. He sucks. Wow, I can't believe I actually won. And against Gym Leader Ed, too. I he even beat the mini tar. I guess I just had the better strategy. Don't worry, kid. We'll get stronger and we'll beat them another time. Yeah, apparently I suck. Alright, then. You have completed the Keeper training deal. You may now proceed to other areas of Monster Sanctuary. Okay, cool. Uh, fighting other Monster Keepers lets you gain experience and each keeper also has a different item that they reward okay cool I'll head to the stronghold dungeon now we've got to find those history books I hope you'll be there too I hope this helped them to get braver either way you should keep an eye on them strange things are going on in the sanctuary nowadays the number of champion monsters is completely abnormal by the way I offer keeper dual challenges to you if you wish to test your skills against me okay not right now because I suck <laughs> I'm gonna get better <laughs> Oh, this isn't the area. Uh, it's the area down here. No, this isn't it. Yeah, wow, I suck. You see, you guys see why I haven't done any competitive guide videos for any of the games I've, I've played? I just need to I, I need to know life some of these games and then I can get good at them but but it requires me to know life it damn it you test your battle against but therefore you're ready to face the stronghold dungeon in ancient woods you may proceed now oh I can yeah I guess right let me in let me in you bitch Hail. Hail? Keeper, novice, gym leader. Eddie, we're standing in front of stronghold prison cells. Luckily, these cells don't uh, see much use. Still, you should need to rise. Me and my trusty monster came. Oh, okay. You're going to help me? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, but, I, but I want. I want. But I want. I want the treasure. I'm guessing there's going to be a way to open these. Interesting. Oh, by the way, I have my controller back. It's working again. Yeah, that obviously wasn't going to work. Let's try fire. No? Okay. Well, we don't have anything for this, so let's keep going. Oh. Pfft. Lol. Okay. I don't know how to make something stand here. I don't know how grapes thanks thanks for the grapes bro
Wait, is there is there actually like nothing else down here? There's gotta be, there's gotta be a way to go. I probably, I, I probably like literally passed right by it. I was kind of focused on coming down. Oh, that's kind of cool. I knew there'd be a secret here. Katana, let's go. I've got to um, optimize my team's held items at some point too, because I, I don't even know what they're holding. Nothing there. Okay, so. And you're useless, so you get punched. Okay, is there somewhere to go over here? Yeah, there is. Okay, I figured as much. I figured I just went the first path and then it was like, oh. <sighs> That's cool. Okay, we need an egg of this thing. Crackle Knight, let's go. Okay, uh, oh, he's a lightning type. By the looks of it. Uh, let's go with so so he oh he uses fire is that fire I'm assuming that's fire no it's not fire that yeah that's like lightning or something but there's no there's, there's no lightning in this game is he use wind anyway um, I'm gonna use guys that aren't weak to wind so uh, you resist it uh, you don't carry either way so you can be my support and you're just Roxas so you get to you get to be used all the time. Okay, let's go. So, okay, what is the buff though? I I don't understand what. Like it's giving me the oh I'm pressing the wrong button. My bad. Okay, might physical skills do more? Magical skills do more? Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Um, I guess we could just use might. Actually, we'll just use power. Okay. Uh, we'll go for the poison. Yeah, let's poison you. If anyone in the in that's watching is like good at the game, like don't think that I'll take offense to it if you give me advice and stuff, because I definitely won't like like if you guys have any advice, um, like in terms of how I should build the team or or anything like that like feel free like I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be I'm not one of those people that's like oh my god how dare you criticize my team building because because my team building ain't good I just I just get everything that hatches from an egg <laughs> so uh, yeah like the, I don't know man the Missora kind of is this wait did I name this thing Missora I can't even remember its name it kind of sucks like the buff is nice but everything else is kind of crap uh, one, and applies poison. Should I be using this one then? Nah, let's try it. Yo, who are you poisoning, dog? Wind damage isn't really welcome here, but I guess I could use it on him. Uh, we'll go with the... I guess... I should be okay to do another... Uh, another one of these. I guess Slime Shot's better for building up a combo. Uh, and then we could just explode you. You might actually die to toxic damage, hopefully. Yep, dead. Okay, cool. And then I'm gonna restore, I'm gonna make Marina heal herself. Okay, uh, you can use Air Sickle again. You can heal your, oh shoot, ah, oh, that was a misclick, my bad. Eh, explosion still works. Oh, that was a bad misclick though. 
Hope he doesn't end up. Okay, good. Yeah, but see, I'd rather lose. I'd rather lose uh, Marina than Roxas. So it's kind of like, do I wanna? Let's bring out a uh, Kaiser. Okay, I'm gonna restore Roxas because I don't want to lose Roxas. And explosion. Jeez, okay. Fireball. Okay, restore heals target and removes one debuff. So why didn't it remove Roxas's toxic then? Oh, did he poison me again? And maybe I wasn't paying attention. Either way, you're not poisoning me this turn. Get out of here. Actually, yeah, Marina might be a better support than uh, than Roxas. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go. It doesn't really matter at this point. Yeah, Fireball. I mean, sorry, not than Roxas, than uh, than Barry. If you're confused as to who those people are, that's why you should be in our subscriber discord. You get named. You get to get named, guys. It's uh It's the best experience, trust me. Die, son. All right, give me that one star. Let's go. Eh, better than I thought. Yes. I don't know how good it is. But I don't care. I don't care about any of that. We're gonna open this bad boy. Mmm, it's shovel night, but not with the shovel. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, you know what? We're naming it Crank. I was waiting for a sexy monster to name Crank. This one's pretty sexy. Oh, I got a fungi egg? What the heck? Yay. This thing reminds me of Teemo for some reason. Well, I mean, I know, I know why it does, but it's not. Teemo's not even actually a, a mushroom. What should we name Fungi? Do I have anybody named a Danta yet? Oh, no, 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 no. I know what I'm naming Fungi. Drugimon. Or I guess actually I can just name it the dev. Yathis. Yathis, Yathis, I don't know how to say it, but bang. That's a dev of Drugimon. Okay, so where did my Oh, they show up here. Oh, so can I switch them? Because you heal every turn anyway. Oh, do they do they automatically scale to the lowest level you have? That, that okay, that's nice. I like that. Okay, uh, we're gonna switch. Sorry, Barry, you're not as useful as Marina. Uh, and honestly, I probably don't need Yathis to be honest. <laughs> okay, let's uh let's skill point them up. Okay, Misera, let's see your skills. Apply sidekick buff to whole party. What does that do? Each attack triggers an additional. Okay, yes. Okay, you're done. Okay, let's see your skills. Lightning slash, physical damage, win, critical hit, applies bleed stacks. Is there any way to increase that critical hit ratio? Uh, applies barrier buff. Receive 20% less damage, I like that. Slash, physical damage, critical hits, apply bleed stacks. Is there any way to increase my critical hits though? I want to see if there's a... Is there like a critical hit buff or something? Also, his physical attack... Oh, his magic, his magic stat's pretty decent too, but his physical attack seems to be the better way to go. We'll go here. Um, 
Every wind attack has a 15% chance to apply shock. I like that. Hybrid increases attack by 10% of this monster's magic and increases magic by 10... Sweet. What's this? Electric field. When a monster gets a 40% uh, chance... What? This guy's OP. Okay, um... Protect. Redirects next attack on target ally to this monster. No, it's okay. Um... Applies barrier buff to the whole party. Applies channel buff to random monster. Okay, it's just an upgraded version. Improve health rating by one. I guess we could do that. We'll save these attacks for later, I guess. Um, Roxas' skills. Oh, see, I need one of these. Okay, hold on. Does this, this guy has to have one of these. Come on. Somewhere? I don't see it. It'd be really nice if he had a, something that increases crits. Let's see. I don't want to read them all, but I don't see the same icon. Oh, well. Crit chance, yeah, 10%. Is... Every hit, 30% chance. Uh, improved mana rating. It's just attacks. Increased 10% damage, 4 mana. So this redirects. Next attack, we already saw that. Uh, barrier channel, improved defense, attacking single target, any shock debuffs on other enemies, okay. Every time this monster takes a hit, it gains a charge stack. Uh, magic plus. Variety, every attack deals 50% increased damage uh, when used for the first time during combat. Different level, okay. Critical, yeah, we need something to increase those crits though. <laughs> Because I feel like that would make him really good if he if you can increase his crit chance. There's, oh, there, you know what? There's items to do that. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll look at items in a bit. Sorry I'm spending so much time on this, but it needs to be done. Uh, what's this? Okay, uh, mana plus. Might. See, I already use Missera for Might. I guess if I teach Roxas Might, then I don't even have to have Missera. But then again, I like to use... Uh, I like to actually attack with Roxas instead of using him as a support. I uh, improve magic rating by one. This might actually be really helpful. Okay. Uh, Kaiser. This fireball level two. Okay, you got all that. What's this? Improve attack rating. Do you really use attack that much though? Health plus. Gotcha. Uh, Marina. You're better with magic, slightly. When applying a debuff, gain regeneration buff. When applying a debuff, yes, yes, okay, that's good. Ducky. Tackle. Uh, uh, defense, that might be something to look at. Supply, okay, aura. Heal all monsters in the party by 4% of the monster at the start of every turn. Yes, that must have been what the frog had. I'm cool with that. Okay, now, wait, you can, what does save team do? You can, like, uh, save it and then load it back up. That's kind of cool. Okay, equipment. This this episode's going to be a lot of uh, customizing of the monsters. And like I said, if you guys think I should, there's something I could do better, just let me know. Uh, okay, hold on. I want to see who, who has the highest attack stat. Uh, n you, right? Yeah, you do. Oh, Roxas, actually. He's a level higher, though. Okay. Because I got a katana, and I'm assuming that increases my attack a lot. Oh, oh, here we go. Crit chance. Give me that. For Roxas, Cestus, that's just 30 attack. Do we have anything that gives any more attack? Oh, Katar. It's not as good, but I think it'll get the job done. Okay, oh, okay, and you know what? Like, does Roxas have any moves that are specifically catered to, to getting critical hits? That's my question, because I might want to build Crank full crit, right? So l l let's see what his moves, like. Yeah, he can increase his critical hit chance. So he has a high crit chance, so I might, uh, like he already has a high crit chance. So like, that's nice and everything. 
but it doesn't look like he has any moves that that right as of right now anyway that use like like make use of that like crit thing so maybe i'll do you know what let's just see what i can give this guy equipment okay defense and then crit damage uh health five percent crit chance 15 percent crit damage we'll give him that for sure any more crit stuff more mana and some crit i'm fine with that I'll give him a little bit of defense, I guess. Okay. You, my friend, can get some you, something better than a wooden stick, that's for sure. Uh, he's a tank, right? Yeah, he's, he's a vitality tank. So I'm going to want to build defense on him. And uh, health. So let's see. This gives you defense and oh, no, our attack and sorcery. I don't need that. Um... Okay, this gives you, well, I could use this actually. It gives you uh, attack, sorcery, which are equal, and it gives you some defense. So I'll give him that. Uh, manage, regenerate. This would be good on him. Uh, vital ring, this gives him more health. Bracelet. And hide. Okay. Yeah, yeah screw Masora. Sorry, it's not very good <laughs> yet. I'm not sure if it's gonna get good, but I don't feel like it's good right now. So uh, I'm gonna build you what like I'd build a support. So I need to give you some health and stuff too. So uh, we'll give you this. Ah, uh, yeah, that's fine. Wait, what else do I have for weapons? Defense. No, it's just attack and a little bit of defense. I feel like this is th th that Cestus is the best thing I have for him. Um, why is the brooch highlighted? I don't know why these are highlighted. Healing skills, active and passive increased by 15 plus mana. Okay. Brooch, plus defense. Plus 18%. Okay. Um. This one seems good too. Okay. I think we're I th I think we're good to go for now. Uh, we do have to give Kaiser something. Because Kaiser is not completely useless. Uh, basically, Kaiser, I think I'm just going to give sorcery stuff. So, let's... Uh... Okay. Sorry this is taking so long, guys. But uh, I really wanted to get this done. And I wanted to do it on screen so you can guys can kind of see my thought process behind what I'm doing. Uh, but we could go... Or this just lowers attack. But then raises... Um mana now his moves let's see if his moves even use attack does this say fire it just says oh magical magical okay magical damage oh but this is physical damage but i don't really use it magical damage magical damage so who cares if we lower his attack i don't use explosion like ever so we'll give him uh we'll give him that thing that lowers attack but buffs um Seems like a fair trade. Okay. His defense is really bad. I'm gonna give him the wizard hat. Plus mana, plus crit chance. Okay. What was that, mana? Gave him a little bit of sorcery. I, I, I guess having mana is okay. Let's see if he has any... No way. I don't really have anything that raises his uh, sorcery too much. <laughs> eh, we'll do ribbon then. Okay. 
All right, sorry that took so long, guys, but I think I think we're prepared for the world now. Let's go. Uh, the episode's already at 40 minutes, so we'll probably end it soon. I'm going to do another episode, like, right after this one. That way I kind of have two, but... Hey, Gym Leader Ed, I knew I heard some footsteps behind me. Looks like you're a Keeper novice now. Great. Do you realize that being a Monster Keeper also means you got some responsibility to take care of? Yeah, sure. Oh, I bet everybody's already told you that. They always put the face of faith of the whole sanctuary on our shoulders since we're spectral keepers. Anyways, if you got the time, you should come to the ancient woods. The goblin tribes have been getting rowdy, and there's rumors of, new, of a new goblin king rallying the tribes. It's been almost 100 years since the last time that happened. It was my great-grandmother who beat the goblin king back then, so I want to see if I can live up to her legacy and boost my rank and save the sanctuary in the process. Can't hurt to have another spectral around to uh, cleave a path through the bands of goblins. So that's where I'm going. It's just east of here. Okay. I'm guessing that's like a side, like an optional thing. I'll go check it out. Oh. All right, you know what? Let's fight these guys, and then we're going to call it a day. I can hear my daughter crying upstairs. <laughs> Nightwing, I kind of want one. All right, let's go... I don't really want to use Misser anymore. He has the buff, but that's like it. That's like the only thing, the only reason to even use it. We'll just use it for now. Maybe we'll switch it out after we use the buff. <laughs> yeah, we'll switch to Marina after we use the buff. Okay. That might be the strat. I wasn't even paying attention to who I'm fighting. I might not. It might not even have been a good idea to use Crank. Okay, let's go Power. Power, then yeah, it wasn't a good idea to use strength. What am I doing? Okay, barrier. We're setting up, boys. An explosion. Let's go. Damn. Pfft, you call that an attack, bro? I don't even remember what this buff does. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch you out. Let's let, let's be real here for a sec. Get in here. Okay, and I'm gonna hit you because I don't think it's wor like I know I'm gonna take extra damage from the third bat or the sorry the second like the the first bat, but I don't feel like it was worth using explosion on it <laughs> when I could do so much more damage to the other one. Oh, he hit me with that bleed. Okay. Um. Yeah, like, Mister is useless. You can, you can get switched out too, bro. The thing's weak to water, right? So get in here, ducky. Okay. Then we can go... Slime Shot on you. I guess, yeah, Slime Shot's better for the, the comboing, I guess. And then with Roxas, we can just finish you off. That's more worth it. Get out. Yeah, I'm going to probably make a second episode right after this one and just like like have them release on different days cuz we're getting to we're getting to the crossroads here and there's about to be a bunch of Monster Tamer games coming out. So I need to I I need to play these games a little more than I have been. You know what? If I, yeah, if I slime shot this one, it'll get poisoned and it'll die next turn, or it should anyway. And because I got that miss, it's not gonna kill. Oh, it did. Okay, cool. All right, you're done. Yay! Got some grapes. I think the eggs just scale to your lowest level monster, which is nice because uh, Abomination does that too. Uh, if you guys saw my video about Abomination, it, um, it it does that as well. And one of the NPCs is like, "No need to grind for no reason." It's kind of funny. It's like kind of a uh, 
kind of like a, a jab. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, we're gonna, you know what, we're gonna call it a day from here. Uh, I'm gonna go tend to my daughter, and hopefully I'll have enough time to make another episode. Anyway, uh, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, come hang out in our subscriber Discord. You can follow me on Twitter, Gym Leader Ed, if you're so inclined. Uh, all the links to all that fun stuff's in the description. Until next time, guys, peace.